Welcome back guys. This is another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Um, this one is for using or a quick tip to help you place objects in perspective on things where you have to fake on like say a logo or a texture or something. Um, usually the method would be just to grab your logo or whatever it is you need to put on the object, paste it in there, and then go to distort and kind of pick the corners and try to get the perspective just right uh, and line it up so that it looks like it's on the same angle and I did a okay job there but it's obviously a little off um, the problem is is when you've got a shape that's irregular and you're trying to fit it on here the easiest way to help yourself out is just to find some points of commonality and what I did just a second ago is just look up how big this trailer a normal trailer is and it is 53 long by 13 high which is a shape kinda like that and that looks about right to a truck um, so all you have to do is make a shape that's close to the thing that you're trying to put the logo or graphic onto um, and if you can't get the exact dimensions just kinda eyeball it um, and then what I'm going to do is just give it a stroke so that it has an outline and then put my logo inside that shape um, where I would want it on the truck and then grab the entire thing, paste that into here, make it plenty big so that when you size it down it looks okay. And now when I do distort all I have to do is put these corner points from the box right in the corners of the truck. It saves me the hassle of trying to figure out the perspective because the rectangle has already figured out the perspective for me. Um, obviously this truck, now that I've dropped it in there, was clearly a little shorter than that because the logo got squished horizontally. So all you would do is just bring it in a little bit. Um, Generally, I use this trick when like faking logos onto clients' products and things, and in those cases, you usually know the exact dimensions of the um, thing you're faking it onto. But if you don't, you can just do the guesswork like I am here, and more often than not, you can get it in a couple tries. Uh, yeah, like that seems a lot more accurate. And then all you have to do is just grab the eraser and erase your shape that you use to help fake that in there or you can keep it and set it on a mode that dis makes it disappear um, so like in an instance like this with the garage door I'm just going to kind of roughly gauge the width and size here with the uh, marquee tool and info is telling me that it's 72 by 48 so I would just make a box that's 72 by 48 and you can scale it up to whatever size you want, it doesn't matter. Whoops. Drop your logo in there. Grab the whole thing. Paste it in. Make it big. Go to distort. And then just put the corners right into the corner of your shape. Uh, and this does work with irregular shapes as well. I ended up having to use it um, not too long ago on a piece of industrial equipment that was kind of all sorts of weird shapes, but line up your boxes and you can zoom in real close to get it a lot more accurate. Apply it and then just erase off the extra. There you go. And then you can mess with the opacity, you know, set it on multiply, do whatever you need to do to um, get the thing to actually look like it's in the space, but that's a whole other tutorial. So there you go. That's the quick way to use bounding boxes to help fake things into perspective. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, doesn't matter. And I hope it was helpful.